Howdy howdy, this is Crazy Grinding back again with a arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I'm going to cover round one results for the Captain America, Infinity War, and Guillotine Arenas, then jump into some round two predictions. So first, the round one results. Um, for the most part, the Captain America Infinity War stuff was pretty much dead on, uh, dead on. I mean, the, the, the prediction kind of where we thought this was going to end up was pretty accurate. Now, when it comes to Guillotine, kind of a surprise here, and this has been a, an interesting trend now for the last couple old champs for the uh, feature arenas, and I'll, and I'll show when I, uh, when we get to the trend graphs how these numbers have been slowly in, increasing, and I don't know if, why, to be quite honest. There could be a number of different reasons. There's been some decent old feature champs like Guillotine. It does a lot of value in the game, even though a lot of folks probably already have her, but anyway, we'll get into that in a minute, but as you can see here, her numbers were a little bit higher than what we've typically seen for old champs um, as feature champs. So anyway, um, you know, in terms of my actual predictions, as you would expect, since I'm based off of my brief ex uh, explanation of the results back there, the the actuals, uh, my predictions were a little bit lower than where we uh, where the actual cutoffs were for guillotine. So these were definitely off. But like I said, when it came to Captain America Infinity War, those were dead on. I mean, it was almost exactly on the cutoff, so it couldn't get any better than that. Um, but the Gia team pretty far off. So when I considering on this, let's take a look at uh, some trends for round two predictions. So kind of as I was mentioning, when you take a look at the five star feature arena results with Beast, Rogue, Agent, Venom, and Carnage, Beast and Agent Venom were kind of in that old zone of you know mid twenty five. So you know right around the mid twenty millions, I should say twenty four million for Beast, both first round and second round, and twenty five to twenty seven for Agent Venom. But then if you take a look at Rogue. She jumped up to 30 million and for the first round and 29 million in the second round. And then Carnage, the same thing. Now, Carnage, like, kind of an outlier, we would expect, because he just, this was after he was buffed. So I think that kind of explains it. But Rogue, she had that big jump um, compared to what we've typically seen for old champs in the five star feature arena. And I know she's a good champ. I mean, she's definitely power control, tons of utility, you know, good champ for sure. But that was an interesting jump. Um, same thing that we're seeing over in the four-star feature arena. There's been this um, steadily increase between uh, Beast, Rogue, and Carnage again that we see these numbers go up. Um, so it, it's just interesting to see for the four-star feature and five-star feature arena. There are champs that can spike up the numbers even though they're old champs. And then uh, with the four-star basic arena results, the key was, you know, labeling Captain America Infinity War as a high interest and then kind of just right around those numbers we saw you know Corvus just went for 3.8 and I didn't think Captain America would go as high but you know he kind of came close and, and basing it off of Killmonger and as you can see he was right around that Killmonger 3.5 million number. So considering these trends and what first round compared to second round looks like here are my thoughts for the second round predictions. Oh, sorry, real quick before I jump into those. Three-star feature arena, as you can see, I mean, again, these results are quite old. Don't have the uh, the updates just because nobody's tracking across the community three-star feature arenas anymore. But for the most part, second round is always higher than the first round. But anyway, now moving over to round two predictions for the veterans bracket. Here are my thoughts. I think guillotine, we did, you know, even for those spikes with like Rogue and Carnage, we did see a slight decrease, nothing significant, but a slight decrease from round one and round two. So with those as the only trends to base this off of, I'm going to just apply that over and thinking that we're looking at $30 million for her second round cutoff. Then uh, we did see for the four-star feature arena, though, there is an increase between round one and round two. So I think this, applying that same increase over here, I think we're looking at a 6.2 um, cutoff for the second round. And then uh, Infinity War, there's a very, sorry, Captain America Infinity War four-star basic arena. For the most part, we saw a very similar score before high-level interest champ. Now, Glaive did drop a bit from 3.8 to 3.5, but looking at Killmonger and other high interest champs, usually round one and round two are very similar. So I'm going to base it off of Killmonger since his since Cap, Cap's numbers are very similar to his. So we're going to look at that cutoff around 3.4 million. And then lastly, with the four star or sorry three star feature guillotine, as I was saying before, round two is always higher. So we'll, I think the cutoff will be around 660 thousand. Now these are the predictions where the cutoffs where I think to land within five to ten percent. So I always like to give a little grind target buffer just in case things go a bit higher, which as we just seen with guillotine and some other old feature arena champs, that uh, exceptions can occur. So with that in mind, I think if you really want to make sure you get guillotine in round two from a five star feature, go to 32 million for a four star feature, 6.4 million. 
you want to make sure you don't miss, miss Captain America, Infinity War in the second round, go to 3.7 in that four-star basic arena. And lastly, go to 700,000 if you're looking to get that three-star feature guillotine. Now, these grand targets as well as predictions are for the veterans bracket. Here are my thoughts for the beginners and intermediate brackets. Again, I don't have a ton of... Uh, you know, recent actual data cutoffs for these arenas. I only got some anecdotal information from the community, from folks who time to time give me that info. So this is just some really, you know, rough, sketchy kind of <laughs> ballpark figures to go by off of. No trends behind the, any of these numbers. So bear that in mind. But at least this will give you kind of a an order of magnitude to go against. So with a three-star feature for the beginner bracket, meaning your count is pretty new within 30 days, you're looking at 245,000. Four-star basic, you're looking at 1.1 million. For the four-star feature, you're looking at 1 million then lastly with the intermediate bracket for so those are you know accounts that have been open within 31 to 60 days three star feature look at a 525,000 four star basic 1.4 million and four star feature right around 1 million and again these are my thoughts for round two predictions for the guillotine and captain american infinito arenas i uh, would love to hear your thoughts so on down in the uh, comment section we can definitely discuss them there and if you have any questions, throw them down there as well. We can uh, always happy to answer any questions if you throw them on down in the comment section. And if you like this video, we really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. And if you like this and other videos I have on the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, we'd really appreciate it if you did. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.